In a boxing uh, establishment, the capacity for aggression is something that's not only allowed but developed, but it's brought under control. You know, and I think that sophisticated psychologists understand, and sophisticated people understand that you don't make men harmless by making them weak. You make them useful and responsible by helping them bring their capacity for mayhem and aggression under long-term, conscious, careful control. And that's part of the respect. You know, I mean, one of the things about boxing, and this is true of any sport, I would say, is that you have to learn to take a blow and you have to learn to control your temper. And so, and that's a big deal because a lot of aggression, violent aggression, aggression goes astray when it's impulsive. And all the men that I've met who were, were, who were worthy people had a tremendous capacity for aggression, but it was contained and controlled. And so then they could use it carefully and voluntarily when it needed to be used. And it gave them a certain amount of, I would say, dignity, but it also was part of what made other people around them respect them very, very rapidly.